I'm very excited to be here and learning more about LakeFS. I mean, data lakes, you know, everybody's saying you have to manage them properly, otherwise they're turning into data swamps. So Absolutely. how is LakeFS helping with all of this? Yeah, LakeFS basically brings engineering best practices from the world of code mm -hmm. into the world of data. So we take a data lake that sits on top of object stores such as S3 or Azure Blob or Google Storage, also on-premises object stores like MinIO, and we provide a Git interface on top of it. So imagine that you can take your, your data, your buckets, and you can branch them. You can go and you can make changes in isolation, commit those changes, roll back in the case of a catastrophe, or even merge changes atomically across multiple tables. So the use cases for this is building development environments, creating a CI CD for your data, rolling back in case of errors, or achieving machine learning reproducibility at scale. It's an open source project with thousands of organizations that we are familiar with that are using it. It's hard to know how many mm -hmm. as being an open source. And uh, that's what we do today, helping yep. people keep the, clay, the lake clean. And uh, you love your mascot. We actually had an well a swag review this morning when over this, and we thought this was such on brand and such well done. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. This is Lottie. Yeah. Lottie is an axolotl. An axolotl is a creature that lives in the lake and keeps it clean, just like us. Here you go. This one is for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.